Honourable Opposition House Leader. Mr. Speaker, there were disturbing reports this weekend that Stats Canada has informed banks and credit card companies that ex it expects them to hand over personal financial data of at least half a million Canadians without their knowledge or consent. Even worse, banks won't be allowed to inform their customers that the government is following every single one of their transactions. With a long history of government privacy breaches, Canadians are rightly worried. Why are the Liberals collecting the personal data of Canadians without telling them? Honourable Prime Minister. Our government is ensuring that the personal data of Canadians are protected. Statistics Canada will use the anonymized data for statistical purposes only. No personal information will be made public. I understand Statistics Canada is actively engaged with the Privacy Commissioner's Office on this project and is working with them to ensure Canadians' banking information remains protected and private. High quality and timely data are critical to ensuring the government programs remain relevant and effective for Canadians. Honourable Opposition House Leader. Mr. Speaker, the Liberal government plans to access the personal financial information of Canadians without their knowledge or consent. Personal information like bill payments, online purchases, credit card transactions, cash, cash withdrawals and deposits, even e-transfers between family members, and the list goes on. Will the Prime Minister do the right thing and immediately assure Canadians that this intrusion into their lives will be stopped? Right on over, Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, Canadians rightly expect that uh, government agencies and, uh, and, individ and uh, groups like Statistics Canada uh, work with the Privacy Commissioner to ensure uh, that their private lives are protected. But, Mr. Speaker, need I remind you and all Canadians uh, that it was the Conservative government that chose to stop the long-form census, to cancel the long-form census uh, as a way of uh, protecting people's private information. What that led to was more policy based on on ideology and less policy based on evidence like we are doing now. Their attacks on data and information continue. The Honourable Member for Richmond, Athabasca. Mr. Speaker, citizens expect the government to protect their information, and yet the Liberals want to have access to confidential data of 500,000 Canadians without their consent. Bill payments, ATM withdrawals, credit card payments, bank transfers, account balances, and even social insurance numbers. How can the Prime Minister justify this action that clearly violates Canadians' privacy? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. 